going on guys? Welcome to Panora Cross or the basketball show for the Philippine community. My name is JR and joining me today as usual is Mr. Marky Mark with a scarf because it's snowing outside. How's it doing, man? Perfect for the weather. I'm always yeah, ready for it. Exactly. <laughs> and we have special guests joining us today. From OXP Media, we got Justin Yee and Brandon Gray. And welcome to the show, guys. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us on. Appreciate it. And always. before we get into those guys, uh, don't forget to follow us on all of our social media accounts. We're on Panora on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Panora Crossover. So let's get into these guys. OXP Media, mm -hmm. welcome to the show. I know we had Justin Yee on our show before. Um, so tell us about OXP Media, Overexposure Media, that is. So Overexposure Media was a, uh, a brand that we actually formed together to promote not only Canadian basketball, but promote basketball in general. And we do a lot with uh, football and different sports as well, too. But the main priority is basketball altogether. Mm -hmm. um, we have a few shows. So there's a six-man podcast with myself and Mike Roach, who's a broadcast assistant with the Raptors right now. He actually works alongside Jack and Leo. And we have Mike Roach Revelations, which is another show that we have along with um, the brand. But altogether, um, through our brand, we have um, obviously our Instagram too. So our Instagram is Ola.XP Media on mm -hmm. Instagram and OXP Media on Twitter. So we do a lot of just fan discussions, a lot of just interacting with our, you know, our clientele and our, our, our you know, consumers in a sense, but we want to just promote Canadian basketball as much as possible, right? Because mm -hmm. we feel that that was a need and that's, that's definitely something that we're taking right now and we're doing a lot more. Yeah, shout out to Jason Roach and Mike yeah. Roach for getting the brand started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Without them, none of this would be possible. Mm -hmm. And like Brandon stated, we, uh, we do like to focus on discussions, interacting with the audience a lot. We don't want to just be another page who kind of reposts the bigger pages content, right? We like mm -hmm. to interact with our audience, show we have some personality, mm. get the audience involved too. Mm -hmm. right. And when it comes to how we work and build our brand, we don't compete with other brands. We love collaborating with people. Mm -hmm. We love providing exposure to brands. We like helping brands get to where they want to be eventually. Mm -hmm. We're all part of the sports industry, and it's going to be a fun ride. Absolutely. And one thing, too, with our podcast, with the Six Man Podcast, and especially Mike Rose Relations, too, we do have a lot of uh, guests on. So we've had Sherman Hamilton. We have the likes of um, a lot of OCAA players, a lot of CIS players, um, a lot of people in the media in Toronto, in, in Toronto um, basketball in general, right, that we want to kind of get more exposure and trying to see exactly where they are. So we've had the opportunity to do a lot of work with uh, a lot of players, a lot of, um, you know, people in the media industry too, but it's mm -hmm. just more about promoting and obviously being uh, as, you know, promote, promoting as much as possible for Canadian basketball. Right. So that's what we do in that six-man podcast. Yeah. Well, my question to you guys is, you know, uh, since you guys are doing, I know, I always follow you guys, yeah. always commenting on your discussion. Mm -hmm. Appreciate how, that. How did you guys come together? I mean, like, you know, with Mike Roche and you mm -hmm. two, how did it all come together for you guys? And, and all of a sudden, you got all these different, uh, right. you know, Instagram and a six-man podcast. Right, right. How did it all come together? So I, I actually grew up with Jason Roche and Mike Roche, and it's okay. funny, we're just talking to JR. Um, Mike Roche and I, we both interned at Sportsnet 590 together. Mm -hmm. And during there, we would say, there's a lot of hockey going on. Mm -hmm. We want to talk a little bit more about basketball so we mm -hmm. decided to actually start a podcast ourselves and it's mm -hmm. we're in our fourth fourth season right now and mm -hmm. we do have a pretty good following on soundcloud itunes follow us on itunes and um soundcloud make sure you <laughs> su subscribe of course um so we've we just grown we've grown a lot with that doing a lot of um not only talking about basketball but talking about say social issues that are going on in our country around the world itself just trying to bring more of our personality together that's what we've done um and it's just grown over time right but mm -hmm. mostly just being we've had a vision and we just wanted to kind of integrate everyone with overexposure and not to compete with them. We want to make sure we can give someone, people a voice, and of course, um, you know, express our passions through basketball and through other sports as well. Mm -hmm. As for me, I've always been a freelance blogger. Mm -hmm. I've enjoyed just writing some articles, both business articles on LinkedIn mm -hmm. and basketball articles, whether it's related to NBA or specifically the Raptors. Mm -hmm. And I've also always had a passion for always just discussions, like. Mm -hmm. You know, who's the better player, Kobe Bryant or LeBron James? I've always been into those discussions. And mm -hmm. then Mike and Brandon were like, why don't we utilize that passion mm -hmm. to help grow the brand, mm -hmm. help build the podcasts, right. help build the, the social media accounts? Mm -hmm. so, so we've seen a steady growth through our, our podcast listeners and, of course, online and Twitter and Instagram. We've seen a lot of, um, you know, a lot of growth in a sense, right? So we're just in the beginning stages, but we're still getting through it. So once again, O.XP Media on Instagram <laughs> and OXP Media on don't Twitter. Don't worry, man. We have everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything You'll see it right down there. there. Thank you to all of our followers, by the way. <laughs> really appreciate it. Really like, appreciate it. To you guys, like, you know, last few words about uh, what you guys do. What are your hopes or what are your goals in the future or what are you guys planning on doing in the next few months, maybe years or so? Well, we're still, we're still growing, up, of course, on social media. And Justin does a really good job with social media as well. But mm -hmm. our, I guess our vision later on is to be doing a lot more with, um, you know, 
university basketball. We do a lot with um, a lot more in our podcast. There's integrated a lot more guests in a sense. There's a lot that we want to do, but we want to start, of course, at the grassroots level. All right. So with CIS, with the NCAA, we've had a lot of connections there. We want to just grow that way. And of course, we can talk a lot more down the line. Right? But there's a lot we, we really do want to do, of course, with mm-hmm. this brand. You can talk right, a little yeah. bit more about that. Yeah, we want our podcast and the brand itself. Yeah. We want we want our podcast to be have a large following right. where people tune in every week without us having to send them the links, of course. And mm-hmm. we're yeah. looking forward to it. Absolutely. Yeah, over OXP Media is going to be a great uh, brand right now. It's, mm-hmm. it's growing right now, growing especially better. with university basketball. Absolutely. I know we want to really want to talk about that and then mm-hmm. get into the more Canadian uh, universities, talking mm-hmm. about more of them, have more coverage on them. 